Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series which I have called as Practical React. In this introductory video, I want to quickly go over what this series is all about. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, you might already know about the tutorials related to React on this channel. We have tutorials on React fundamentals, the advanced topics, hooks, and Redux. Those tutorials, however, focus on the concepts that make up the library. It is also something that I highly recommend for a beginner to get started with. But once you're past that and start working on projects, you come across different requirements. For example, you need to add icons to your application, or a modal, or a tooltip, or even a table. You can definitely build these components on your own, but the smart thing to do is check if there are good ones already out there. Given the size of the React community, you can safely assume that you're going to find an NPM package for almost any requirement you have in your project. So what I want to do in this practical React series is introduce you to some of the packages that you would end up needing in your React application. Even if you don't have a necessity right now, I'm pretty sure you might come across a need in the future. It is always good to know what is already out there. So, for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be taking a look at a couple of React-related NPM packages which might come in handy at work or for one of your side projects. Now, we will not dive deep into all possible props and configurations of the package. My intention is to introduce you to that package and let you customize the usage based on your requirements. With this understanding, let's get started with our first package in the next video.